If you're having trouble finding reference and code terminal angles, I'm going to look at this delta math assignment that I would have given to my students. Given negative 130 degree angle. So first to know that a negative 130 degree angle in standard position, you start with a positive x-axis. A negative angle, does that mean you move against the clock counterclockwise or with the clock clockwise? So for negative 130, you're going to move negative 90 and a little bit more. You're not going all the way to 180 because it's 130. So you can draw the terminal side and you draw a negative 130. So you already know what quadrant it's in because of your quadrants when they're both positive, when x is negative and y is positive. Down here, x is negative, y is negative. And over here, x is positive in quadrant 4, but y is negative. So if we read the question, given negative 130 degrees, find the coterminal angle from 0 to 360. Now, this is not an x, it's a theta, but it means a variable just like x does. It's just fancy for angle measures. So when you see theta, it's just like x. So you're trying to find an x, a variable value, between 0 and 360. This has a line under the symbol. This does not. Inclusive means you have a line under it. No line means exclusive. So basically, 0 and 360 start and end the same spot. So you can't really put a, a line underneath both anyway. So it does say to find the coterminal, which we might as well just do that first. Coterminal, we remember, starts and ends in the same spot just by rotating 360. So if you take your angle, negative 130, you either add or subtract 360 to get your answer. If you want to get more negative, it looks like you would subtract. If you want to get positive, it looks like you would add. The reference angle, which is a variable theta with a caret over it, that's the symbol I like to use for reference angle. Some math books will use different versions, but this is the symbol I use. So a reference angle is, remember, how far you are from the x-axis. So if you looked at this picture visually, we know 180 counterclockwise 180 and negative 180 clockwise. Either way, to get from 130 to 180, you have to go another 50. So you would say 50 degrees is the reference angle. It's always a positive answer, and it's always how far you are from the x-axis. The quadrant we already figured out, when x is negative and y is negative, we're in quadrant 3.